Hey there, science fans. I'm Miss Oyanoki. This is Mr. Mammoth. And this is part two of our learning from fossils video. So finding Yuba the mammoth was a huge big deal. Yuba's a rock star. But scientists can infer, remember this word, infer, from other specimens as well, like, for it, How can they infer from sharks? Let's find out. This shark is called Ototus obliquus. It was a prehistoric shark which lived during the Paleocene and Eocene epochs, approximately 60 to 45 million years ago. This is a fossil of an Ototus obliquus tooth. The tooth of this shark is large with a triangular crown. This is the crown smooth cutting edges, and visible cusps at the roots. These are cusps. So what can you tell from a shark tooth? Well, you can actually infer quite a bit of information. You can tell the total body length of a shark just from the length of its tooth, approximately. So if we measure the shark tooth length in inches, rounded to the nearest whole inch, and multiply that by 10, that will give us the total feet of length of shark. So this is about one and a half, we'll round it to two. Two times 10 is 20. So we're looking at a 20 foot otodus. What else can you tell about a shark from its tooth? Based on the shape and size, you can identify the kind of shark and also tell a lot about its diet. Otodus ate large mammals or larger fish and even other sharks. They would be the kind of fish or shark that would take a bite out of things. So these cusps are actually there to help them grab onto something and they have cutting edges to take chunks out of it. Kind of like the great white shark. The great white shark has sharp cutting edges for tearing off chunks of flesh. The mako shark, however, has skinnier needle-like teeth for grabbing on and holding on to slippery, slippery fish. The shark's cousin, the stingray, is a benthic feeder. So it has flat, thick teeth that are almost like plates for crushing the shells of their prey they eat. Okay, scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.